Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come together and spend this few moments in, in the Word and prayer. This week we're talking about praise. And God has called us to praise Him in every area of our lives. Today we look at sacrifice of praise. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 15 and 16. Therefore, by Him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. But do not forget to do good and to share, for, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Praise does not always cost us something. We praise people for a job well done. Praise is often a response to some action that directly benefits us and we feel generous because we extend it. We often find it easy to praise God from that same motivation. We can sing, worship, talk about how good He is because we can see it in our lives and in our situations and in our families. That kind of praise, although worthwhile, it doesn't cost anything to us. It is not a sacrifice. Then there are those times when God did not come through the way we thought He would. God seems very far away and praise is the last thing that it comes out from our heart. We can't see His goodness and circumstances scream that He has forgotten us. It takes an act of the will to lay our all on the altar before God, even what we don't understand. When we bring a sacrifice of praise, we choose to believe that even though life is not going as the way we think it should go, God is still good and can be trusted. When we choose to praise God in spite of the storms, He is honored and our faith grows deeper. Life is just hard some days when we feel pressed and burdened, weighed down with cares and in despair and without hope. God reminds us that He is able to provide all that we need according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He promises to bring beauty instead of ashes, joy instead of mourning, and praise instead of despair. We can trust Him that He can do this for us. What we are never able to do by ourselves, He is able to do it for us. If you feel stuck in hard places today and can't see a way out of your current situation, God wants you, God wants to fully cover you in garments of praise. He gives you a new name and will cause His Spirit to rise, rise up within you. The command in Hebrews 13, 5 says that this sacrifice is to be offered continually. So our praise is not based on our opinion or His job performance. Praise cannot be treated as a reward. We give God for His blessings but real praise continues regardless of circumstances. It flows continually from a worshipping heart in good times and bad. A sacrifice of praise comes from a humble heart that has been purified by fire. Through a sacrifice of praise, we realize that God just doesn't change our situations and work through our problems, but God changes our hearts. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, that we are called through every season, through every circumstance to praise you. And this is the cry of our heart this morning, God, that we will praise you in every season. That your praise will ever be on our lips. 
we thank you father that in doing so you will change our hearts make us more like you we give you all the praise and glory in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org